Why do you call your work Mild Fascia Release if it's not about the fascia? Um, it's, a, it's a great question. Um, I learned Mild Fascia Release in, since 1992, <laughs> um, where it was all about the fascia. I was taught the rabbit hole story where everything became about the fascia, the fascia restrictions, and I really did think that when I was assessing somebody and treating somebody that I was feeling the fascia restriction and I was changing the fascia restrictions and then somebody made me realize that those are probably just metaphors, right? <laughs> metaphors for what the person is suffering with and metaphors for the things that are changing. I've been pressured a lot recently to drop the words mild fascia release from what I do and what I teach because of that um, because people feel that Fascia doesn't release. It's a metaphor. It's not a biological possi or possibility. I, I still retain, at least for the time being, the words mild fascia release simply because since 1992, I've done this with my hands, right? We do the cross hand stretch. We do the we single hand. We do this. We do all the things with our hands and our brains that have become to I've come to associate with mild fascia release. And to me, it's like, it's a malfashionably style of engagement mm. versus the thought that I'm singularly and selectively targeting the fascia. Okay, so I call it malfashion release because that's what I do. This is what I do with my hands, not so much with my brain anymore.